good morning children welcome to english class children in our last session we have discussed lesson 7 the tale of peter rabbit in today's session children let us discuss the beats of this lesson so all of you open your textbooks children comprehension with a children complete these sentences complete these sentences here the first question is Peter Rabbit lived with his family in dash Peter Rabbit lived with his family in dash so where did Peter Rabbit live Peter Rabbit lived with his family in a sand bank under a big fir tree so write the answer a sand bank sand bank under a big fir tree and the sentence with a full stop second question children mrs rabbit warned the children not to dash mrs rabbit warned the children not to dash So what did the mother rabbit want the children not to do? So mother rabbit said that wherever you want to go you can go. So mother rabbit want the children to go down the lane or into the fields but not to go into Mr. McGregor's garden. So write the answer not to go into Mr. Mark Gregor's Mark Gregor's garden Third one Flopsy Mopsy and Cotton Tail went dash Flopsy Mopsy and Cotton Tail went to went down the lane to gather blackberries whereas Peter Rabbit went into McGregor's garden. So write the answer. Went down the lane to gather to gather black berries. Black berries. Fourth one. Naughty Peter ran dash. Naughty Peter ran into Mark Mr. McGregor's garden. So Naughty Peter ran straight to straight to Mr. McGregor's. garden fifth one in the garden peter ate dash in the garden peter ate what do peter ate peter ate lettuce beans and radishes write down lettuce comma beans and radishes and radishes last sixth one when mr mcgregor saw peter he dash when mr mcgregor saw peter he began to shout and chase after him so write down he began to shout to shout and chase and chase after him okay now let's read the sentences once again children here the first one is peter rabbit lived with his family in a sand bank under a big fir tree second one Mrs Rabbit warned the children not to go into Mr McGregor's garden. Third one, Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail went down the lane to gather blackberries. 
Fourth one, Naughty Peter ran straight to Mr. McGregor's garden. Fifth one, in the garden Peter ate lettuce, beans and radishes. And last sixth one, when Mr. McGregor saw Peter, he began to shout and chase after him. Okay, now next bit B and C will write in the notebook children. Next, play with words. In play with words, B D, fill in the blanks with the most suitable words from the box. Fill in the blanks with the most suitable words from the box. So in the box, the words are given. You have to choose the correct word and write on the blank. So here the words are hold, wriggle, twitch, squeezed, waved. And the first fill in the blank is we all dash into Deepti's car. We all dash into Deepti's car. So we all squeezed into. Here the correct word is squeezed. Write squeezed in the blank children. Squeezed. We all squeezed into Deepti's car. Second one. Martha dash her red scarf to stop the taxi. Martha dash her red kerchief to stop the taxi. So Martha waved, waved her red kerchief to stop the taxi. Right, waved in the blank. Third one. The baby dash out of the crime when his mother was asleep. The baby dash out of the crib when his mother was asleep. So the baby was, the baby wriggled. The baby wriggled out of the crib when his mother was asleep. Right. Wriggled on the blank. Fourth one. The cat's tail dash as it stayed at the rat. The cat's tail dash as it stayed at the rat. So here the answer is twitched. Right, twitched in the blank. The cat's tail twitched as it stayed at the rat. Now the last fifth one children. It rained just after the farmer dashed the rice field. It rained just after the farmer hoed the rice field. Right, hoed in the blank. Now let us read the fill in the blanks once children. First one, we all squeezed into Deepti's car. Second one, Martha waved her red scarf to stop the taxi. Third one, the baby wriggled out of the crib when his mother was asleep. Fourth one, the cat's tail twitched as it stayed at the rat. And last fifth one, it rained just after the farmer hoed the rice field. Okay. Now next bit E. Write a suitable word for each of these sentences. Choose from the box. So here the words are given. You have to choose the correct suitable word for these sentences. Now here the words in the box are careful, angry, scared, naughty, obedient. Careful, angry, scared, naughty, obedient. Now first one children, first sentence is Flopsy, Mopsy and Cocktail listened to their mother and went to gather blackberries. Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail listened to their mother and went to gather blackberries. So here Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail are obedient. That's why they obeyed the mother's order. So write down obedient here on the blank. Second one. Peter did not listen to his mother and ran into Mr. McGregor's garden. Peter did not listen to his mother and ran into Mr. McGregor's garden. So Peter was very naughty. 
write naughty on the blank naughty third one mr mcgregor waved a rig and shouted stop thief mr Gra mr mcgregor waved a rig and shouted stop thief so mcgregor was angry write angry on the blank now fourth one peter was out of breath and trembling with fright peter was out of breath and trembling with fright so peter was out of breath that is he was scared write scared on the blank and the last fifth one children peter decided not to speak to the cat because he had heard about cats from his cousin so here the answer is careful right careful on the blank now once we will read the sentences children first one flopsy mopsy and cotton tail listen to their mother and went to gather blackberries so answer is obedient second one peter did not listen to his mother and ran into mr magrigal's garden answer is naughty third one mr magrigal waved a rake and shouted stop thief and said he is angry fourth one peter was out of breath and trembling with fright and the answer is scared and last fifth one peter decided not to speak to the cat because he had heard about cats from his cousin and said he is careful okay children now with this we have completed play with words as well as comprehension bit a complete these sentences coming to today's ya homework children learn and write bit a bit d e of lesson 7 in your textbook learn and write lesson 7 bit a bit d and e in your textbook okay children Okay that's it for today see you in the next session bye children